Last time on Tim Plays a Game. By the time you arrived at the scene. Oh, dang. There was no one else, right? There's no place to hide in the critical. Yeah, there is. There's a hiding spot. It's inside the airlock's decontamination device. How the culprit enter the lab? Seems like we're finally at the central question. The power that could not have been it. Invited in by the doctor. Never entered in the first place might be it. That's right. The doctor was stabbed three times in the back. Right. One stab would have indicated that he held the knife in place, then fell on it to kill himself. Yeah. But he couldn't have made three wounds like that. There's no way it was a suicide. The log on the doctor's computer didn't show any signs of security getting shut down. We're probably going to have to disprove a lot of possibilities until we get to the right one. If that's the case, the only one that fits. certainly didn't cut security just to let someone in. The doctor said the critical lab was on a separate grid. Yeah. And the lab switchboard wasn't in the electrical room. The security wouldn't shut off, even if there was a blackout in the building. I gotta come up with something better. Entered and killed via spectral projection. He couldn't manipulate anything. Nothing can be touched. Couldn't touch anything. Yeah. He couldn't have held the murder weapon, the knife. So it's not possible that he stabbed the doctor. All right, we're going back. What's up, everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays Game. Here with Master Detective Archives Raincode playing on Nintendo Switch. We are neck deep in the Mystery Labyrinth. We've already come to a couple conclusions about this case. It was not a suicide. <laughs> it was not Vivia using his spectral whatever powers. Um, changed. Doctor did not let any let let anyone in, and there were the power being cut had nothing to do with uh, getting into the lab. Well, it might have had something to do with it, but it could not have caused them to get into the lab. There aren't any new doors. What? There's nowhere to go? What was the point of eliminating all the other paths? To find the right one. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> Don't start with that again. How about you help us for a change? You better cooperate. Unless you want to get chopped up by Master Solution Blade. He wants to die. <laughs> Oh, you're not, you're... Are you threatening him or bribing him? <laughs> I don't want to get chopped up. I dislike pain. Immensely. Well, come on, dude. If you want the death, you gotta get the... You gotta take the pain with it. <laughs> but you know... You can't have one without the, the other. The journey up to now was in a waste. We did eliminate many possibilities. Thank you, Debbie Downer. But that means nothing if we can't reach the truth. Nothing? <laughs> Why do you want the truth? Oh, no, we're not going through this whole frickin' paradox again. <laughs> huh? It's easy to say you want the truth. But are you sure you can handle it? That's probably what this is all leading to. Can you handle the truth? <laughs> And it's like, we've eliminated every possibility, so he has no choice but to handle the truth. No matter how cruel the truth may be. I'll just use that as the pick, as the thumbnail for tonight's video. <laughs> Can you handle the truth? You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. <laughs> Can I handle it? No. Maybe. I'm still not sure if you're the kind of person who can. I bet you're not sure either. That's why you're still so hesitant. This mystery labyrinth also reflects your reluctance. Oh my God, talk faster. Maybe that's why you can't reach the truth. What are you talking about? I've said it before and I'll say it again. I won't hesitate to expose the truth. So you still haven't realized it? <laughs> I guess yeah, Yuri knows how it. what happened. <laughs> Well, that's fine for now, but eventually, you'll be forced to make a choice. When that happens, you have to prove your conviction and expose the truth, like you said. Enough nonsense. Let's find some clues. As an apology for the distraction, let me tell you something. This labyrinth 
appears to change shape by reflecting our investigation. Huh. So, instead of following the revealed path, isn't it possible to carve your own path? You'd think. Carve I mean, we've done that before. Path. That's right, Shinigami. We can create new routes with our own deductions. Maybe we can do it here. Sometimes, just a slight change in perspective <laughs> is enough to completely change how you see things. So if I change my perspective here, I might see something new. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was uh, it was the culprit followed us into the vault. And basically, yeah, really fast kill. I see. I was so focused on how to overcome the security system. But that's not right. I need to change my perspective and think about who could have overcome it. Don't box yourself in with your own assumptions. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I hate when the anemic vampire tells us what to do. But if Master wants to... Then fine. I'll lend you my power. Lay it all out, Master. Ooh, barrel time. Alright, let's have some fun. I hope I get this fast. <laughs> Please. Okay, she's got me puzzle. Try to solve it. Look at Who is capable of overcoming security? Oh, Anna Pal. Tick tock, tick Anna tock. That's what I'm thinking. They follow when we used Amapal. They followed it in. All right. A new route appeared. Perhaps I said too much. Well, <laughs> nothing has been solved yet. Yeah, he already knows. I wish you'd express yourself a little better. How can we tell if you're happy or sad? I'm gonna say that I know, I know I'm already thinking out loud a lot, but I'm thinking it was either Yakao, it could be Halara. Halara, because Halara had that boot print, but then again, so did Yako. I've never been happy or sad my entire life. <laughs> I want to die. This guy's hopeless! Anyway, let's explore this new route. It also could have been Vivia too. I'm not 100%. Yeah, that, that boot print had a very distinct heel to it. Hopefully it's the correct route this time. Let's move it, Master. You don't even know what this is. <laughs> well, we're about to find out. When you think about who could get past security, the only option we know of is Armapal. True. And that's how we were able to get through security ourselves. But it's just a toy robot, right? How is it related to the case? I don't know yet, but... Since Palmapal can get through security, it must be important. It's sealed off here, too. By the way, I mean, I, mean, I don't usually eat during when I record videos, but... Kind of hungry right now, so I'm eating some Cheetos. They're good. 
Hey, there's an intercom. I mean, I've been out this for like that's my fifth hour right now, so <laughs> getting a little hungry. Maybe someone will respond if you use it. No way. Oh boy, here we go. Huh? Doctor? Huh? Wait. What the? Wait. Who are you? Help! Somebody come help me! Yeah, we didn't actually see anyone. Isn't this the footage where the doctor was attacked? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we gotta go through the door. Materialized. You must be related to what the doctor just said. Yeah, but his hearing was bad, so he couldn't hear anything. Who are you was directed at who? So the question is, who did the doctor say? Who are you to? Probably no one. <laughs> huh? I'll leave it to you. Yeah, you will. You, know, you can keep reading at a time like this. <laughs> You don't understand, it's a very interesting book. Gotta, gotta find Waldo. <laughs> I'm gonna say no one. The trap didn't activate. Does that mean we found the right answer? Huh? So the right answer is no one? Why would the doctor say, who are you, if no one was there? The security was still active at the time, so no one could enter the doctor's lab, right? And right. that was before I borrowed Amapel. So the only explanation is that no one was there. What was the doctor's motive? Ooh. Why did he say that if no one was there? I think he was trying to escape. But then got killed somehow. I think if we go there, we'll find the answer. What? That route's obviously just a side road. Who cares what the old geezer was thinking anyway? But it looks like this is the only way we can go. Besides, I am curious about what was going through his mind. It could be an important factor in solving the mystery behind this case. Still, being forced to take a side route is too much trouble. Oh my god, stop. I don't care. Why are they making us crawl, though? So, Master, do you have an idea about what the geezer was thinking? He was probably going to use us as a way to get out, but that Not didn't happen. Yet, but I think it has to do with why he said, who are you? I think the doctor was putting on an act. An act? Really? The doctor put on an act for a reason, but I have no idea why. We have to figure that out by going down this doctor's motive route. Go. Oh, this guy again. <laughs> He's here too? <laughs> you rats keep scurrying around. Do you really think you'll discover Dr. Weska's motive this way? I think Yomi might have had like Yomi might have had a hand in this, so. Good luck with that, morons! He had no motive at all. Well, he said there's nothing here. Let's head back. We can't do that! The fact that he's here means there is something here. If he's trying to block our path, then this route must be important. Nah, <laughs> fine. <laughs> I'm only here because you maggots piss me off. So, I'm gonna end you here and now! Okay, great. Do that with your floppy sword. <laughs> I know it's a whip sword, but still, it's, 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 it does not seem very sword-like. <laughs> Seems more like a whip. Doctor's email records and the photo. This was all part of the doctor's plan. He didn't have and basically shows he was trying to escape, so it's gotta be that. Playing at all. That exchange on the intercom wasn't an act. There was no reason to put on a show. The doctor misunderstood. You probably don't know this. Weska put his soul into his work. 
The research was going well. We know the doctor's research going and refuting that statement won't find it. Okay. But that solution key. Okay, so that's the, sol that's the right solution key, wrong answer. Oh, right answer, this wrong is question. Part of the doctor's plan. He didn't have a plan at all. That exchange on the intercom wasn't an act. There was no reason to put on a show. The doctor misunderstood. You probably don't know this. Leska put his soul into his work. The research was going well. I was gonna drop on my head last second. Dang. There's no way he'd betray us! Yeah, it's that one, okay. What? So why would he do that? Sure, you had a good reason, just need okay. This he was playing on he was playing on leaving. Plan. He didn't have a plan at all. That exchange on the intercom wasn't an act. There was no reason to put on a show. The doctor misunderstood. Oh come on. You probably don't know this. Leska put his soul into his work. The research was going well. The doctor was loyal to Amaterasu. There it is. Okay. A little ashamed of how long it took me to figure that one out. No. The doctor was planning on betraying Amaterasu Corporation. He was trying to escape Kanai Ward. <laughs> He said so in the messages he wrote. <laughs> yeah. You. Yeah, that computer is gonna be really. That computer message is gonna be helpful. And the logs too. Yomi's rebuttal. What was that? What was he trying to deny? Why was he covering up the doctor's motives? It seems that this case involves the inner workings of Amaterasu. Right. The doctor was going to betray Amaterasu. But whoever he was emailing knew that. So the doctor locked himself in the lab to protect himself from that person. Perhaps the doctor's act had something to do with that. That's, yeah, that, yeah, Vivian knows. The fact that he knows probably means it's Yakko. That's where I'm going with this right now. It's the security gate. Everything's locked up. Oh, God. <laughs> Which means this is a complex problem. He, okay, wait, remember this now. He did have... I cannot stop eating these things now. This is why I don't eat during a video, when I, when I record or when I live stream, because when I start, I get into it, I can't stop. I'm going to put these things away, try to get them out of my sight. <laughs> How the doctor planned to escape Connie Ward. Okay, he thought about throwing sul uh, sulfuric acid on people. We saw notes of that, and then probably sw probably do like a uh, probably swapping places. We have to choose the right door and insert the correct. This is way more hassle than before. Guess I'll leave it to you, Yuma. As always. <laughs> Yeah, doctor's notes. 
The notebook found at the doctor's desk diagrams a person being splashed with sulfuric acid. Doing this would cause clothes and skin to melt, rendering the victim unrecognizable. And then if they saw that in his lab, they would think, oh, that's the doctor. It's not. Worked. Oh, the door actually opened. I knew I could let Yuma handle it. Are you sure you aren't a phantom? <laughs> this looks like a mall. So the doctor tried to swap places with someone else to escape from Amaterasu. Oh no, this is the entrance to Amaterasu. The notes he left behind in the lab hinted at his plan. You mean the diagram with the sulfuric acid being poured on someone? Yep. Yeah. He was going to swap places with a the corpse, then melt it with acid. He wanted to disfigure it beyond recognition. That's how he planned to fake his own death. At the very least, did it buy him enough time to escape Kanai Ward? Or so he thought. Wow! Melting a corpse with sulfuric acid? Yay! So cool and grotesque! <laughs> I'm sure you two would have been great friends. So who was the substitute supposed to be? Maybe the hitman. Mm-hmm. The doctor was under surveillance by Amaterasu, but he was still looking for a chance to escape. When he learned a hitman was after him, he figured his chance had arrived. The doctor was hoping to use the security system to kill the hitman and use the body as a decoy. That's an idea. Now that I think about it, the doctor did seem to be waiting for the hitman to arrive. The hitman hasn't arrived yet. When will he show up? <laughs> Don't tell me this so-called first-rate hitman was captured by peacekeepers. But the hitman never did show up. Did he call the hitman on himself, maybe? The doctor had a sudden change of plans. And that was the act he put on by asking you, who are you? Perhaps that was a trap to lure you in. He was trying to lure Master? He considered taking advantage of the detectives since the hitman never showed up. So if he called for help, he would charge into the lab, not knowing anything about the security system. Ah. And thereby acquire the corpse he needed. As his I mean, Yuma would be a little too small, but... <laughs> that seems overly complicated. Like those guys who overthink asking girls out? <laughs> Restricted area. Perfect. Let's go in there. Well... He couldn't have used another researcher. Someone would have noticed their absence. What's up here? Oh, can't go up there. He needed visitors. People from outside to pull it off. Here we go. So if I didn't know about the security and had rushed into the lab... You'd be a super sexy skeleton right now. <laughs> Aww, so close. Oh, well, maybe next chapter. <laughs> but the doctor's plan failed, and he actually got boom killed by the hitman. I get what he was trying to do, but what about the impossible murder? Assuming the attack on the doctor was just an act when we saw him through the intercom, we at least know for sure the real attack hadn't happened yet. In other words, the culprit entered the lab after that exchange. So the problem is, when did they actually enter? They came in behind the robot, behind uh, Amapel. Oh, wow, what's this? Wh where are we? <laughs> this place is a real mystery. Then again, 
I suppose that checks out. <laughs> huh? Shinigami? Yeah! Master! What, what the heck? Turning point! <laughs> so, is that your final answer? I haven't said anything yet. The Cobra entered the lab before Amapel. After Amapel. Master, no. you need to narrow down the timing for when the culprit got inside. Now then, here's our fateful fork in the road. It's life or death. We are at the crossroads of mystery and solution. Why are they making it look like this? I mean, I like the style, but still. Now, Master, which one will you choose? The, well, they, they technically entered the lab before Amapal, yes. But, the, yeah, I mean, because that door took so long to open. When I directed Amapal to go into the doctor's lab, he already had a knife stuck in him. Which means he was murdered before Amapal entered the doctor's lab. Your answer? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Congratulations, Master! Would you like to double down? <laughs> the Cobra, did the Cobra, uh, yeah, probably did something along that line. about? Anyway, really narrow going. things down here. Right. Little by little, we're narrowing down when the culprit entered. Yeah. yeah, they definitely entered. I still don't know how yet. It had to be between when we spoke to the doctor over the intercom and when Amapel entered his lab. Right. During that time, the culprit entered the doctor's lab and murdered him. So the most likely time would be when you went to borrow Amapel, Master. The culprit had to have entered the lab then. No, not yet. But Fubuki waited at the front chamber while Desuhiko and I went to borrow Amapel. She said no one entered or left the lab. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, let's double down. Oh god. Back here again. Huh? We're back on the original path. Maybe you're supposed to try opening that door now. I'm sure that from here on out, it's not just about when, but also how the culprit got in. Hmm, yeah. Yuma, there's no need to push yourself if things get too hard. No, I can Stop trying it. to deter me. I'm going to solve it. <laughs> <laughs> Where was the culprit before the crime? This Probably in the ventilation, yeah. A map. So we have to determine where the culprit was before the murder. We'll have to solve them one at a time. Let's start with this mystery. If we know where the culprit was before they got in, this route will be clear too. Do you know where, Yuma? Spot speculation, okay. Okay, so gas chamber's right here. This is the first ventilation area right here. This is the, yeah, room, and then, okay, so it has to be, has to be right here. Here. Yeah, they followed the robot at Amapal in. Culprit must have been here. <laughs> nice. After the exchange on the intercom, given there was always a detective at the front chamber, when we went to borrow Amapel, the culprit had to have already made their way inside. But the airlock is the only location that isn't affected by the security system. There, the culprit had to be inside that decontamination device before committing the crime. Okay. 
he was just hiding in there to avoid being spotted after the crime. Before and after the crime. So you think the culprit was in there before the crime too? Yeah. The culprit was waiting for their chance. All this flying up ahead. But we had no idea when we sent Amapel into the airlock. Oh boy. And from there, Yuma, you guided Amapel to the doctor's lab. So the culprit entered the doctor's lab before then? How would that be possible? Only Amapel could get past security. Things are falling apart. Right? Yeah, that's the next big question. Maybe the culprit used another Amapel unit. No. Things are getting glitchy. The researcher mentioned there was only one functioning Amapel. Which means... The Amapal Yuma controlled was the only one yeah, that really could get glitchy. security. I like because there's so many things happening. So the culprit must have taken advantage of Master's Amapal to get into the doctor's lab. Yeah, that's the only way. But how did they use it? There's no solving the doctor's murder until we figure that out. I was kind of waiting for you well, to hit the button. I have an idea. Will you hear me out? As long as it's not giving up. What is it? How about... Dang it, I knew it! Shut up. I'm getting tired. You can stay here. Nope, motion denied. <laughs> well, we broke the game. Good job. Oh, wait, it's working. Okay. <laughs> Another fork in the road? Such a complicated mystery labyrinth. How did the culprit use Amapal? Beyond each problem, weapon as a shield. We're definitely getting closer to the heart of this mystery. I mean, guess neither. It wasn't really a weapon; just kind of got in. The shield didn't. Really, maybe a shield. Maybe a shield. I'm gonna say neither, because <sighs> neither seems more broad. of elimination that must be it yeah <laughs> Amapel's hands aren't designed to hold anything so it couldn't use the knife to murder the doctor which means Amapel wasn't the murder weapon and the culprit couldn't have used it as a shield it can't neutralize the toxic gas and the high voltage shock would destroy it more I think it used it more like a key to open so, that door um, how did the culprit use Amapel I think we'll find out if we continue down this path. Yeah, use Amapal to open the door. Ah, oh, there goes the floor. Uh, that was the wrong answer! Come on, Master! Okay. <laughs> Why are you taking me back here? Ow. Huh? Where? We've been here before. It looks like we've been brought back. But the door we opened earlier is closed again. Why's that? Yeah, I wonder why. All right, open up. <laughs> Your neck. Where was the culprit before the crime? Huh? Even the question is the same. Does that mean we gotta do it all over again? Well, the logic is still sound. There's no other hiding spot for the culprit besides the airlock. Right. So you want to choose the same answer and keep going? If you do, you'll just repeat the whole process again. We'll just be brought back here if we can't figure out how did the culprit use Amapal? And I refuse to walk any more than I have to. Hey, don't sit down! I mean, there's nowhere else he could be hiding. What should I do? Stand up! Stand up right now! Stop it. Leave me alone. If you want me to leave you alone, then help my useless master out! <laughs> <sighs> Fine. Just one thing, then. We're back at... Where was the culprit before the crime? Because you're stuck at... How did the culprit use Amapal? 
With that in mind, these two questions are connected. Hold on, what did you just say? We're back at where where was the culprit before the crime? Because you're stuck at how did they use the how did the, the, the culprit use Amapel? These two questions are connected. So the culprit was there before the crime. And they used the and the culprit used Amapel as whatever. So I'm trying to get the, trying to get what the logic here is. <laughs> Connected? Both the culprit's location and how Amapel was used? Help him out more! More, more, more! <laughs> the culprit was hiding in the airlock, where you also left the robot, right? Right. At that moment, only the culprit and Amapel were there. So maybe the culprit did something. Stood behind Amapel. The culprit did something to Amapel? Clues are always there. Right under your nose. It's a detective's job to notice them. Did you notice anything strange back then? Any tiny detail? Try to remember. The fact that when he got in, yeah, the door took a while to open. And Amapal was basically stuck looking forward because of the arm thing can't move. When it was pushing the button to open the door. Something strange. Hey, now that you mention it, back then. Oh, hey, the screen lit up. So oh, right, I forgot about this thing. It's like the cockpit of a mecha. Whoa, what was that? Yeah, there's some like kind of weird distortion. Did it break already? I thought it was state of the art. No, it's all right. It's stabilized. There was a moment when the camera stopped functioning while I was controlling Amapel. It returned to normal pretty quick, but maybe. See, I told you it was right under your nose. You don't need any additional help from me, right? Right. That was a clue to help solve this mystery. Actually, everything in this world is a key to solving mysteries. You just haven't noticed them. Okay. Perhaps there is more in your So deep. Was there anything else? Something unusual. Something I missed. Hmm. Anything else? It's not like Amapal's camera showed the culprit. There's a point directly in front of him. You couldn't see anything behind Wait, him. That's it? Huh? That I think about it, was that strange? The culprit must have gotten ahead of Amapel, but why didn't they ever show up on the camera? If the culprit went past Amapel to enter the doctor's lab, they would have been spotted for sure. Now that you mention it. But nobody showed up on camera. How did the culprit manage to pull that off? How can you move from the airlock to the doctor's lab? Without appearing even once on Amapel's camera. Hey, aren't you just standing behind the robot? No, all the pieces are here. Huh? Yuma, the mysteries you face now can be solved with a single answer. Yes, a single answer. Sheesh, I talk too much. <laughs> you're not talking enough, or you're saying too much nonsense. Oh, here we go. How did the culprit use Amapel? What caused Amapel's malfunction in the airlock? Why didn't the culprit appear on the camera? Yeah, it's all connected. What do you do now? It's a Pandora's box of mysteries! Let, let's stay calm and think about it. There's plenty of time. There's not plenty of time. <laughs> There's never plenty of time. <laughs> I'll keep reading while you wrap things up. Remember what he said, Master. All it takes is one answer to solve these mysteries. Use those weak brain cells of yours and think. <laughs> Rub what two brain cells you have left together and try to come up with a thought. <laughs> Amapel's usage. It's malfunction. I'm not sure what caused the malfunction, but... I believe standing behind him is what caused it. On camera. 
Because he was behind uh, oh, Amapal the entire time. Just one answer? Oh, dang it, I hit the wrong thing. Yeah, I, I hit up. I was I thought that was like the direction. <laughs> I thought I had to select it. Okay, now yeah, he was behind on my pal. Oh, he was inside on my pal. Okay, that one, yeah, that one makes more sense. I just, it just doesn't see how it could be how it could do that. Okay. Really? Okay, process elimination. Before the crime. Okay, before the crime, I guess on top of Amapal's head. Uh, the culprit used Amapal as a weapon as transportation. What caused Amapal's malfunction in the airlock? Dead battery. Culprit jumped on it. Why didn't the culprit appear on the camera? They were on top of the head. I got it. Wow, I could not see on top of it. Okay. Culprit rode on Amapel's head, using it as a method of transportation. I thought it'd just be easier to stand behind it. <laughs> With every open door, it will be harder for you to turn back. Are you sure? Yes. Absolutely. I will find the truth no matter what. This is for the nocturnal. There's gonna be some kind of earth-shattering solution, <laughs> which, which I think it's it's Yakko. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I should have gotten that picture there. Oh well. Hey, you said the culprit put on top of Amapa. Yes. What did you mean by that? He stood on top of it. Literally what I said. The culprit rode on the and used it to get through. They probably kneeled down on it so it wouldn't create a footprint. After we left on in the airlock, the culprit came out of the decontamination device. Then they jumped on Amapel's head. The disruption in the footage was from the impact. That's insane. <laughs> Is it? I think it's fairly reasonable. It's about as reasonable as anything else in this case. Stand up to a hundred kilograms of weight. So someone riding. I was wondering why they hammered that point in so much. The shoe print on Amapel's head wasn't caused by someone kicking it. It was left there from the culprit hopping on and off. Huh. After that, the culprit simply rode on it. As it moved toward the doctor's lab. <laughs> By doing so, the culprit was able to evade the camera and remain hidden as they made their way through the lab. Should just let that that robot get fried. <laughs> You're right. If it's true, then it does solve all of the previous mysteries. But Yuma, have you not realized it? Yeah. You're still missing something. One major mystery remains. Who? What's with that new sign? The greatest mystery of this case should appear soon. Just the thought of it gets me feeling down. Yeah. This case's greatest mystery? The who? The who done it? You know how? You have an idea? What? What now? This is the panel chamber. That means the doctor's lab is just beyond it. If we can get through here, we'll reach the goal, yeah? <laughs> when did the culprit get off Emma Pal? When the door was being opened, or after the door? Is this the greatest mystery you mentioned? I guess when the culprit got off, when the, when the when Emma Pal opened the door. Uh. Because the oh, robot was stuck looking forward because its arm was extended. Well, this is the mystery to be solved. So the door takes so long to open. <laughs> Literally the time it took him to... That door to open. 
Cobra could have gotten off, ran inside, stabby stabby, ran back out. <laughs> oh no, he actually kicked over Emma Pal, so. Beats me. Okay, wall opening the door. Before opening the door, wall opening the door. Culprit murdered the doctor before Amapel entered the room. Which means the culprit had to have gotten ahead of Amapel at some point. It was when the door first opened. At that moment, the culprit snuck into the doctor's room. Yeah. Yeah, when the doors were slowly opening, just like this. That's when the culprit took their chance. How do they know the door would open so slowly? Heh. <laughs> right. The moment there was enough space for a person to slip through, the culprit hopped off and went inside. Like this? Ooh, what's this? Uh, I still haven't reached the goal! <laughs> Is this a joke to you? Your deduction is full of holes. Here we go again. If this is a joke, it's not very funny. You're a joke. And yes, you're right, you're not very funny. Master, you know what to do. Of course. Hmm. I'll take your garbage deduction and toss it in the trash. <clears throat> Great. I am the saint of Kanai Ward. Go with it. Protecting it from <coughs> death like you. <coughs> <laughs> the Cheeto got caught in my throat. <laughs> the culprit hopped on all of that. Oh, that was design, yeah. Well, as the door opened. God dang, I hate that. Gap in the door. That's impossible, even for Fink the Slaughter Artist. Think about it. If Alapal's line of sight changed just a bit, the camera would have caught it. No one would do something so risky. <coughs> the crime would have been exposed. The culprit must be really lucky. Ah, what is with my throat right now? Piece of evidence where Emma Powell's function is limited at that time. That's right. Security arm, so yeah, which means Emma Powell's camera wouldn't be... <coughs> any, would, wouldn't, wouldn't have been filming anything at the time. Okay. The culprit hopped on Emma Yeah, Emma Powell's design. How is the door opened? Then slipped that. through the gap in the door. That's impossible, even for Fink the Slaughter Artist. <coughs> Think about it. Okay. If Vala Pal's line of sight changed just a bit, the camera would have caught it. No one would do something so risky. The crime would have been exposed. The culprit must be really lucky. <clears throat> what, did they use some sort of special power? Wait. <clears throat> I'm trying to say this, hold on. <clears throat> <clears throat> what is with me and I just... Yeah, something's caught my throat. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so obviously that didn't happen, but would they really have used such a risky method to break in? Bomb Pal's camera even working? That might be the first thing we need to, con we need to confirm. Something seem off to you, Master? Like, let's check the solution key then. The culprit hopped on Bomb Pal as the door opened. I hate that. I think it might have been the last one. 
through the gap in the door. That's impossible even for Fink the Slaughter Artist! Think about it. If Bala Pal's line of sight changed just a bit, the camera would have caught it. No one would do something so risky. The crime would have been exposed. The culprit must be really lucky. What? Did they use some sort of special power? Okay, it's the other one. Those old production codes one but it's also wouldn't been able to kill the doctor. So that solution key seems more important. What was Amapal doing at the time? Speaking of which. Extending his arm towards the button. <clears throat> right, that means Amapal's camera would have been running. The culprit hopped off Amapal. This is the right solution key. Yeah, I'm using it at the wrong time. The door. That's impossible, even for Fink the slaughter artist! What? The slaughter, okay. Can't refute the statement. I'm still stuck on that solution key. Amapal's functions were somehow limited, weren't they? At that time, Amapal had its arm extended to disable the security system. The culprit hopped off Amapal as the door opened, then slipped through the gap in the door. That's impossible, even for Fink the Slaughter Artist! That's right. Think about it. Bala Pal's line of sight changed just a bit. That's it, okay. Why did I miss that one before? Bala Pal is designed so that when its hand is stretched out, it won't execute any other inputs. That's right, why when I said it was that. pressing the button for the door, the culprit didn't show up on the camera. <sighs> you little maggots. Don't get so full of yourselves. You're not getting out of here alive. This whole thing was just for that one little thing. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I knew that I can... Whatever. <laughs> I got ahead of myself, that's why. I'm trying to know exactly which statement to refute so can be kind of annoying. That's when the culprit took their chance. Yeah. Since the door opens outward, it's possible to take advantage of the blind spot it creates. Right. That's how the culprit managed to stay outside the camera's view as they entered the doctor's room. Correct. Hmm. So it's an elaborate murder that took advantage of Amapal's design, and even the direction the door opens. Which means whoever got in here knew about the labs. Must have really wanted the doctor dead. Or something of that I guess sort. You can call it an obsession. How scary. Just like this passageway. Where will it take us? Perhaps a street with the culprit's obsession on full display? A roof. Knock it off with the weird soliloquies. Let's go. <laughs> You're really going? Yeah. Huh? Uh, here we go. Yomi, he doesn't give up. Hey, Yuma. What? When the culprit entered the doctor's room while the door was open. Huh? Y yeah? At the time, the doctor was in the room, right? I mean, yeah. If the door opened and an intruder entered, how could the doctor not have noticed? How did the doctor get in unnoticed? <laughs> was it because he was deaf? I mean, that's kind of what it is. Find out next time, guys. So that's going to wrap things up for tonight's video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to Tim Plays Game. And stay tuned. I think we're getting near the end here. I mean, we better be. I'm freaking... Next video will be the eighth part, so... <laughs> uh, until next time, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off. And have a good night, guys.